What in the Jordy LaForge is going on? Of all the weird Twitter beefs, we've got LeVar Burden arguing with Bounding Into Comics over a Rolling Stone article. It wouldn't be current year if it wasn't stupid. So, make it so, Mr. LaForge. This all began when Bounding Into Comics posted an article about Burton's comments in a Rolling Stone interview. The interview was about Burton's career, and he was asked about Star Trek The Next Generation, and specifically if he'd change anything about Geordi. His response? Yeah, he'd get laid. I can literally hear that line in his voice. I mean, Geordi had the bluest balls of all of Star Trek. You'd think it was Blue Balls Bashir. Nah, it's Geordi. Every effort he made was either ruined, misunderstood, or made up to later find out that the real deal not only didn't like him, but was also married. Every story has its archetypes, and it's usual to have one who's the unrequited lover. That's Jordi LaForge. He was a nerd. He wasn't so weird that he was unlikable, just a little awkward. It seems like the writers did this because they had no one else to do it to until they created Broccoli, I mean Barkley. Even then, Jordi was still the love-struck punching bag. It would have been nice for him to get some, but in fairness, most of the cast never got any either. The writers just decided to make Jordy the likable guy who always strikes out. Or as LeVar Burton put it, the writers were racist. Quote, Whether they are aware of it or not, those white men who wrote the show had an unconscious bias that was always on display to me and other people of color. Their blind spot was revealed in the fact that a black man never was successful at one of the basic and most... My wife says, there's a lid for every pot. It's true. The idea that Jordy never found the lid for his pot is ludicrous. It's preposterous and it's insulting. Oh, 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 baby, what you doing? No, 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 you're better than that. No, the writers had an unconscious bias, which is why they let Worf have multiple love interests, including Deanna Troy. I understand that on the show, Worf is an alien, but the actor Michael Dorn is black. You'd think that bias would kick in with his character too, but it didn't. It seems like it had nothing to do with race and everything to do with character. Jordy LaForge was the likable but awkward science nerd, so he didn't get laid. I get that you don't like that, but that doesn't mean the writers were being racist. Lazy? Maybe. Racist? Nah. Ferengis? Yeah, that's them being racist. Seriously though. You're talking about one of the most progressive series in TV history that went out of its way to have a diverse cast where race and sex and sexuality had Roddenberry gotten his way doesn't matter. The writers on the show wrote episodes that pushed those themes. That doesn't mean none of the writers were biased. It's just strange for LeVar Burton to make this claim when no one else has said anything of the sort for the three decades since TNG ended. So, Bound into the Comics pointed this out, writing, quote, According to actor LeVar Burton, the fact that his Star Trek The Next Generation character Jordy LaForge never found love during the series' seven-season run was an act of unconscious racism perpetrated against him by those white men who wrote the show. Despite the fact that only three of the Enterprise's crew members, including Captain Picard, ended their tenure having found love where no man has gone before. That unintentionally sounds like a gay reference, but I'll allow it. And then LeVar Burton, to everyone's surprise, replied to the tweet, stating, quote, Correction, my comments to Rolling Stone were critical about the writer's insistence on the tired trope of the nerdy guy being uncomfortable around women. Correction, LeVar, you said, quote, Whether they are aware of it or not, those white men who wrote the show had an unconscious bias that was on display to me and the other people of color. Their blind spot was revealed in the fact that a black man was never successful at one of the basic and most, and then you went off into your wife's analogy. So no, you weren't talking about the nerdy guy. You specifically mentioned race and said that the writers had an unconscious bias about black people. That was you. Bounding into comics didn't do that. You did that. Then he followed it up with, quote, I was criticizing the lack of awareness on the writer's part, unconscious bias, around the sex life of the character and how that creative choice led to the character behaving like a miscreant sex offender in his stalking of Leah Brahm's character. Again, your statement to Rolling Stone, quote, Whether they are aware of it or not, those white men who wrote the show had an unconscious bias that was on display to me and the other people of color. Their blind spot is revealed in the fact that a black man was never successful at one of the basic and most, and then you went off into your tangent. You were not talking about nerds. You were talking about race. Why are you lying? We can read your words. They're right there. Look, 
You did that. No one else was talking about race. You brought it up. So Bounded Into Comics is right to call you out. Now, if you wanted to talk about how creepy Jordy comes across, that'd have been fine. Like you say when Rolling Stone asks you whether Jordy was an incel and you talk about the creepy things he did. Quote, that's part of the problem, right? In their attempts to be cute, they inadvertently create an aspect of Jordy's character that is very uncomfortable. Totally valid criticism, and it has nothing to do with his or your race. It looks like the writers were playing on a trope about nerdy guys, and they made the likable nerd look creepy and ran with it. It's not because of an unconscious bias against black people, but probably one against nerds, if there was a bias there at all. I don't understand Burton's need to make this about race. If the writer said or did something that came across that way, fine. Share it. Let us know. But to just make the claim with no proof, I just don't know why you're doing that. There's nothing to gain from doing this other than trashing the legacy of one of the most progressive and important series in history. One that helped reshape the way that people think about race. I don't know why you'd want to tear that down. But what do I know? I'm just some guy.